Hello dear students, this is Mr. Howard from Madrasa Net. Welcome to a new lesson. This lesson is addressed to back exam students, philosophy and foreign languages stream. Follow with me carefully. Today's lesson is going to be about time conjunctions. The following time conjunctions, dear students, after, before, as soon as, and until, with past events, neither with present events nor with future ones, with past events or events that happened in the past or years ago or just days ago. Pay attention. You get this picture. In this picture, we see guys, obviously Algerian guys, Algerian men, brave men, wearing uniforms, holding weapons, ready to fight, and holding the Algerian flag between them. Look at it. This picture represents the 1st of November 1954. What happened in Algeria on the 1st of November 1954? There was a war against French colonization. It was the Liberation War. Look at picture number two. It shows guys celebrating, obviously they're so happy. And also it shows the Algerian flag. This picture represents the 5th of July 1962. What happened in Algeria on the 5th of July 1962? Algeria took its independence after a seven-year war. Mm -hmm. Before, after, picture number two. Before, picture number, or sorry, picture number one, before, picture number two, you see? Look at the dates, 1954, before 1962. Mm -hmm. Follow with me carefully. I need your attention because this lesson is quite complicated. So concentrate with me. Two, mm -hmm. 1962 is after one, mm -hmm. after this date. Mm -hmm. We have Algeria started its liberation war in 1954. This is the first event, or event number one. Mm -hmm. Event number two, Algeria took independence in 1962. Mm -hmm. Here, I've got two sentences between my hands, and I want to combine them. Mm -hmm. I want to make one sentence out of them. I need to do some necessary changes and I need to add a conjunction in order to link them together. Mm -hmm. The conjunction is before, before Algeria had started its liberation war before it took independence. Event number one, Algeria had started its liberation war. Event number two, it took independence. Hmm? In between these two clauses or between these two events, I use a conjunction before hmm? to show that these events took place one after another. Hmm? The first event, you get it, had started. Here we use past perfect to stress the fact that event number one had taken place before event number two. Mm -hmm. Event number two, verb is conjugated into past simple, took. Or, in other words, Algeria took independence after it had started its liberation war. What
what did I choose, students, in sentence number two? Look at it. Hmm? Yeah, I just brought the second clause or the subordinate clause into initial position. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Then I changed the link word. I've used another conjunction after, which is the opposite of before. We have before, after, after. After it had started its liberation war. Muslims were forced to leave Andalusia. This is event number one. Event number two, Muslims controlled Andalusia for about 800 years. I mean, Muslims stayed in Andalusia. Andalusia was between or under, under Muslim control for about 800 years. Mm -hmm. Look at these two sentences. Here I'm going to use conjunctions, either after or before. But be careful, I'm using them right in the beginning of each sentence. Mm -hmm. After Muslims had controlled Andalusia for about 800 years, comma, which means that the first clause has ended. They were forced to leave it, second clause. Mm -hmm. In fact, in this sentence, I'm linking these two clauses with conjunction after. But I'm using it right in the beginning. See? It's correct. Then, 